blue day. It's only 8 a.m. in the hot Louisiana, and you can already start to feel the heat. It's going to be another 90 degree day, so starting off early. Also here at Lake Charles, I found out like why everything's so close so much. Um, basically, what comes down to is about a month ago, from when I got here, they had like tons of rain and they had tons of floods, so it's destroyed like. Well, not the RVs are RV campsites are opened, but a lot of the uh, tent campgrounds are closed. A lot. Of, they said it was a huge. It was a huge flood, not big enough to get national attention, but big enough that it, it would really kind of a. Uh, they're they're <laughs> busy rebuilding. A bunch of homes even got flooded too. So, yeah, a bunch of stuff. They're still kind of like uh, cleaning up from it. So, I got suckered a little bit. And the fact that I was looking for something to do here and I couldn't find any because, well, they're busy rebuilding. Oh, this section leaving Lake Charles going up into East Texas and into Dallas. Oh, uh, there's uh, not a whole lot to say. Uh, this section of the country is very, very uh, monotone. And you'll notice it here as, as I kind of go through. Historical marker, it's on uh, 96 in uh, Texas, Stephen Williams. Now the remarkable thing about this guy is he enlisted three times. Once in the Revolutionary War, Again, at the age of, what was it, 55 in the War of 1812, and then served again in the Texas Revolution <laughs> at the age of 75. You can see people are speeding by me because the speed limit here is 75. You don't really get used to it, but you do like it. <laughs> you get everywhere quick. Dallas and we'll get to see more stuff coming up. 